Stay focused and energized using G Fuel. You can use the discount code OGXRays to get 10% off your entire order. Yo guys, what's up? It's Xerxes. Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome Monday. I'm having a pretty weird one. I had to work at 4 a.m. today and I, I literally got around two hours of sleep before I went into work. I come home, I ate some lunch, and then I fell asleep for four hours. I woke up and I thought I had to get ready for work. So uh, literally my mood was terrible when I woke up from my nap, not realizing that I actually had like six or seven hours before I have to go back to sleep to go back to work. So uh, you can imagine how out of it I was, but as soon as I woke up, my younger brother Quinn was like, are you gonna make a video or something? I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? I gotta get to work and well, uh, yes, yes, I am making a video. So hopefully you guys are having a good Monday. Hopefully it's not as weird as mine was so far, but in today's video, I actually wanted to talk about something very, very cool, guys. We're gonna be going through all of the social ranks and talking about the rewards that you get through each one of them. Now, personally, I've been kind of slowing down on playing Call of Duty World War II. I have just, there's so many games. There's Fortnite, there's Call of Duty World War II, there's Rainbow Six Siege, there's Mario Odyssey that I have still not completed that I need to get through and so I haven't had as much time to play and dedicate time to Call of Duty World War 2 because of that my social rank is only at a 9 I'm getting ready to hit 10 let me know in the comment section below what social rank you are currently at uh, but anyways let's go ahead and go through all of these different rewards some of these seems like they're kind of boring like I feel like they shouldn't repeat some of these rewards because they're just not as exciting compared to some of the other ones you get lower on but you guys will see what I'm talking about now I do want to say very very quickly that prior to this you know obviously these rewards that I'm going to be going through a lot of people thought that increasing your social rank that the main benefit was going to be that you were going to have a chance to get better loot items and supply drops and well that ended up not happening for you guys that missed a video that I covered on this Basically, Michael Condry recently confirmed that you get no added bonus or better supply drops or better anything in supply drops from having a higher social rank, which actually very, very much sucks. Game Informer had an article before the game was even out talking about how if you had a higher social rank, you would get better supply drops. And well, they were misinformed or maybe they heard something wrong because Michael Condry said that no, that is not one of the benefits, which kind of sucks because I really wanted to grind the social rank so I could get better drops and I was saving my supply drops thinking that if I had a higher social rank I would get some insane stuff in my drops but no unfortunately that is not one of the rewards or one of the benefits of having a higher social rank I wanted to mention that because maybe some of you guys weren't aware of that but the only real benefit from having a higher social rank is the rewards that you get which we're going to be going through in this list there are 20 total social ranks and after that we don't know what's going to happen but each one of them has some pretty cool rewards some of them are pretty boring some of them are pretty uninspired in my opinion that are just not fair but we'll talk about that as we go through this list but i just want to give you guys a quick heads up on that because maybe some of you guys still think that we get some kind of added bonus in supply drops if we have a higher social score but no that is actually a myth that the community got from a game informer article which kind of really sucks honestly in my opinion kind of killed the whole wanting the grind for me in my opinion now before i actually jump into that one last thing guys i'm gonna have a poll running as a card on the video i want you guys to vote before i even tell you what the rewards are vote if you guys even care about social score anymore now that you know that you don't really get a benefit towards your supply drops being better so go ahead and vote do you still care about social score yes no and are you even continuing to want to do that in the hq or do you really not spend time in the hq anymore because of that information so go ahead and vote on the poll that is in the card the social rank number one this is pretty much what everyone is at you get 500 armory credits for this guy and it actually requires 100 social score to get to rank two you need to get 250 social score and you get a unique calling card called socialite for rank three you require 500 social score and you get a common supply drop so that's okay see it's building up slowly social rank four it requires 750 social score and you get 1000 armory credits this one's actually pretty good you can actually get yourself something pretty nice from the quartermaster from that social rank number five it requires 1000 social score and you get the m1928 wilco this is one of my favorite variants in the game and it's free to everyone i heard there's like some issues where people weren't being rewarded for their m1928 wilco so i don't know what's up with that for people that haven't been able to access access it hopefully that's fixed but it's one of my personal favorite weapons to rock in the game just the m19 in general and so having a pretty fun variant to have and to get it at such a low rank to me is a, is a pretty awesome reward all right so at 1500 social score you get another unique calling card this one called the blossom i'm not sure about that i'm not a big fan of like cosmetic stuff like that like 
you know, calling cards or even the emotes I'm not a huge fan of, but <laughs> they're giving them to us. At 2,500 social score, you get a new emote called Reach for the Sky. Now, I don't know what that one is. I definitely should have it, but I don't think I've put it on any one of my emotes. At 3,750 social score, you get another common supply drop. This is what I meant by me not understanding why they put in so many common supply drops. You can get these from completing an order. I don't understand why they're giving that to you when it's progressively taking you longer to get to the next rank on social score. And it's just like, why? Why would he give us a common supply drop when all the other ones before this have been way better? And this is the same thing I got for for getting 500 social score. Now when I have nearly another 3,250 more, so like literally what, six, seven times that amount, I get another comment? What? Like, no, no. All right, so at social rank nine, which requires 5,000 social score, you get 3,500 army credits. Pretty freaking awesome. At social rank 10, which is at 7,500 social score, you get the Lewis land ship. I'm actually very excited for this. This is the next thing I'm going to get. So I'm going to get an LMG epic variant, which I'm super excited to check out. At social rank 11, which is at 10,000 social score, you get another common supply drop. Why? Why are you doing this to us? <laughs> All right, so at social rank 12, which requires 1,500 social score, you get another unique calling card called the Solutions. Now, some of these do have images, and I will be sharing them on screen as well. We also do have social rank 13, which requires 20,000 social score. You get a rare supply drop. So all the way at 20,000 social score, that's when you barely get a rare supply drop. Up until then, it's just commons. Pretty crazy. At social rank 14, which requires 27,500 social score, you get 10,000 armory credits. That is a pretty big boost. That's pretty insane. You can literally buy yourself an epic variant with that. Any one you want, which is pretty sick. At social rank 15, which is 37,500, you get yourself a car 98K nightmare. I, I really want to get this one. I really, really want to get it. The car 98 is like literally my favorite weapon in Call of Duty World War II, and I can only imagine what it looks like. So I'm excited for that. All right, so at rank 16, which is 50,000 social score, you get another rare supply drop. Why, why, why is this? Give me just a ton of armory credit. At social rank 17, which is 75, thousand social score you get 15,000 armory credits so that's pretty freaking awesome all right so it's social rank 18 which requires 100,000 social score you get the home run emote which the name is out of the park unfortunately apparently it is broken so we'll definitely see but I would not be excited if this is the reward I get after grinding 100,000 social score all right so social rank 19 which is 150,000 Jesus the jump is high you get the bar flyboy. I'm actually very excited to see this one as well. So another pretty awesome one. And then finally at social rank 20, which is 250,000 social score. That's pretty in freaking insane, dude. You got to get a hundred, another 100,000 social score just to get rank 20. Jesus. You get a hub classified, which basically everyone has been saying that Michael Kondry stated that it is getting in-game verification, so a little bit of verification badge. I have seen images floating around of what it looks like in the leaderboards, and it actually looks pretty cool, but your reward basically for social rank 18 is going to be that you get a verification badge in Call of Duty World War II, which is pretty cool. All right, so that is all of the ranks. You can go all the way up to social rank number 20. And then after that, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe they'll implement more via DLC updates. I don't know, but it'll be interesting to see what happens after that. I'm still very bummed that there is no benefit to ranking up in terms of getting better items and supply drops. Some false information from Game Informer had a lot of people excited for that. But Michael Kondry cleared that up a couple of weeks ago or maybe like a week ago. I made a video on that for you guys that missed it. But yes, we're not getting any actual bonus or better loot in supply drops from leveling up your social rank, which really sucks. So... That would have been an extra bonus if they actually did that, but uh, I feel kind of bad that this is not really something. So I don't know how I feel about some of these rewards. Some of them are pretty sick, the armory credits, but the whole getting more commons or another rare supply drop or emotes that don't work, stuff like that just... <laughs> It kind of sucks. Like, in my opinion, it just really sucks. So, anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, guys. I wanted to give you guys some info, talk about something that maybe you guys are excited or looking forward to if you are leveling up your social score. But uh, let me know what social rank you are in the comment section below. What do you guys think about social score and your social rank? Do you guys think it's important at all? Do you care at all? There's going to be a poll on the card, so go ahead and vote on there. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you guys do drop a like 
like on the video it does about it is appreciated and if you are new to the channel if you want to see even more content like this i'm gonna have a ton more call of duty world war ii content coming so make sure you guys do subscribe and you turn on notifications by hitting that little bell icon next to the sub button thank you guys so much for watching twitter is the best place to talk guys honestly i'm over there more than i am on youtube or anywhere else so go ahead and follow me over there if you guys want to talk and i do also have a gaming and second channel as well links to those in the description below thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time i'm out peace